Have you ever wondered how websites are built? How the digital spaces we frequently visit come to life? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of web development. Specifically, we're venturing into the basics of building a website using HTML. To start, think of HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, as the skeleton of a website. It's the structure, the foundation, the backbone that holds everything else. It's like a blueprint for a house, showing where each room goes and how they're connected. To create a web page using HTML, the first thing you need is a text editor. Any basic text editor will do, whether it's Notepad on Windows or Text Edit on Mac. Start by creating a new file and saving it with a .html extension. This tells your computer that you're working on a HTML document. Each HTML document begins with a doc type declaration. It's a way to tell the web browser which version of HTML the page is written in. For HTML5, the latest version, you'll write a doc type HTML at the very top of your document. Next comes the opening tag. This tag indicates the start of your HTML document. Right after it, you'll want to include the tag. The section is like the brain of your web page. It contains meta information about the document like its title, which appears in the browser's title bar or tab. Inside the tag, you'll often find the tag. The title tag should contain a brief description of your web page. For example, my first web page would be appropriate for your first project. Following the closing tag, it's time for the tag. The body of your HTML document is where all the content that users see goes. Text, images, links, video, audio, you name it. This is where you give your web page life. HTML uses tags to structure content. Want to add a paragraph? Use a tag. How about a heading? Use a to tag depending on the importance of the heading. To insert an image, use the tag. To create a link, use the tag. And there you have it. That's the basic structure of a HTML document. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. HTML also allows you to create lists, forms, tables, and much more. But these basics should get you started on your journey to becoming a web developer. To recap, we've discussed what HTML is and how it acts as the skeleton of a website. We've explored the purpose of different tags like a, and we've seen how to structure content using tags like a to, a, and, and finally, We've learned how to create a basic web page using HTML. Remember, practice makes perfect. So go ahead, create your own HTML documents, play around with different tags and see what you can build. The world of web development awaits you.